Hello friends and fellow Chronites, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export the data from SQL Server into Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. The first step is to select the database from where you want to export the data. So I'm going to select my test one database. And the data that I want to export is in the table table one employee details. So before I could export the data from SQL Server and show you how you can do that into Excel, let me first show you what information we have inside this table. Okay, so this is the information that we have inside this table. And this information I want to export into Excel from the database or within from the SQL server. So the step one that you will have to do is select the database. And once you select the database, you will do a right click, click on task and click on export data. You can also import data from Excel into SQL server. And this, I have already created a video on this, which you can see if you want to know how you can import data into SQL Server from Excel. But this video is about how you can export the data from SQL Server into Microsoft Excel. So click on export data and it opens up the, the wizard. The wizard will help you for both importing the data or exporting the data from SQL Server to, uh, in our example, Excel. Click on Next and select the data source. The data source is SQL Server. So the select the very last option, which is SQL Server Native Client 11.0. And by default, it picks up the, the server name and database as you had already selected that. Click on Next. And now select the destination. If the destination in our scenario is Microsoft Excel, select the file path. I'll name it as sample two. Click on next and select the very first option, uh, which is by default selected and click on next and select what information from that table you want to export. And I want to select uh, the table with this name, table one employee details. You can also preview what information it is going to export when it will be sent from SQL Server to Excel. So this is the information. I'm going to click on next. Keep the default check mark as is and click on next. And these are the information that we had uh, from the previous steps. Once you go through that, you can click on finish. And as of now, the data was uh, uh, not much. So you could see that uh, the execution time was hardly a few seconds. But if you have a large data within or inside that table, so it can take uh, more than a minute or maybe depending on the, the data, it can take some time. So now the execution was successful and as you can see the status is uh, green and success. Click on close and go to your source or rather destination. And now you can see uh, sample two. And once you open it up, you can see the same data which we exported from our SQL server. So thank you once again for watching this. I will just give you a quick recap of what we did in order for you to export the data from Excel. So select the database, do right click, click on task and export data and follow the wizard, select the destination and source and click on next till the time you reach finish. And once you get the execution status as successful, then you can go to your destination and select whether the data has been exported or not. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.